Shadow, Treachery Cannot Be Tolerated, is the latest proclaimed worst game ever on Steam. The game launched without an executable file, meaning there was no way to play the game you paid two dollars for, and it's a common joke that the game was better back when it didn't work. Seriously, Valve doesn't make games anymore and doesn't do dick to moderate Steam. They're seriously too busy to have one guy install every game before it's posted to Steam and make sure that they all turn on? Is that one solitary micron of common sense quality control really too much to ask for a company as huge? and as rich as Valve. Oh, and let's not forget the gamer tags that have this listed as an RPG adventure psychological horror game when it's an asset flip rail shooter. The trailer is just a six second clip of the developer pointing a video camera at the screen while they play. Cheese and rice! Let's see, stock Unity Engine pre-made launch menu, stock Unity Engine pre-made main menu background, looks like it's asset flip a clock all around. You are under attack while accompanied by two of your body gourds. Body gourds. Shoot all the attackers before they kill you. Okay, let's play this son bitch. You spawn. What? I'm dead! In 1.7 seconds! I died in less than 2 seconds! What in the living shit biscuits? What even happened? Okay, you spawn in the middle of a street with five clones of the same dude shooting you. The opening of the level tells you that you can take three hits, with no life bar or sign of where you're getting hit, naturally. The problem is, despite having two body gourds, two of the enemies spawn with clear shots at you, and you can spawn facing the clear wrong direction if you move the mouse while the level loads, so you die freaking instantly unless you whirl around and kill the two guys on the edges of the screen first. And even if you nail the two guys in the open, that only buys you a few seconds before you die from the other three enemies. So every life lasts maybe around five seconds at best. The first problem is that the aiming sucks all of the dong. Both the mouse and the camera move when you try to aim, so the cursor is wildly oversensitive and it's almost impossible to line up shots on a dime, especially when you have to cross the entire screen to get the two most urgent enemies. What's worse is that for some batshit reason, the camera is set with inverted controls. If you try to aim up, the camera dives into the ground and there are no settings to change this. I try to shoot the bad guys in the back and it's impossible to aim at anything but their knees. I'd also like to point out that despite the fact that the game's controls list show movement controls, it's impossible to move from this one spot. You can't run to look for cover or try to dodge the bullets. I'd also like to point out there's no music and the gunshot sound effects are barely above a guy blowing raspberries into a microphone. The biggest are you freaking kidding me problem with the game is the hit detection. You can click on a guy over and over and over again. It's blind luck if they die or not. Look at this. I'm clicking directly on this enemy and nothing happens. Why isn't this working? Often I get lucky and I hit the guys on the edges of the screen, but no matter what I do, I can't hit any of the enemies in the back. I'm clicking on these bastards and they just won't die. This is the one freaking thing you need to program correctly in a rail shooter. If you click on an enemy, they die. How do you not get this? Oh, I forgot to mention the store page. Yeah, get a load of this shit. Quote, the most interesting feature of this game is that if you shoot the goons and they don't die, you have to shoot the places surrounding the attackers to kill them. Are you shitting me? Not only did this guy completely fail at the one thing every rail shooter needs, but he boasts terrible hit detection as a feature of the game?! After about four minutes straight of dying over and over again, I figured out how the shooting works. Despite the visible cursor, you do not click on enemies to kill them. You're supposed to line up the enemies with the static image of a gun at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, that gun that's skewed about 20 degrees to the left because the dev doesn't know how real shooters work. Trouble is, you have no earthly way of figuring out where the gun is pointing beyond a vague guess. You basically have to position the camera so that the enemy is around the middle of the left half of the screen, wave the camera around, and then just hope you you land a solid hit by blind luck before you die. And once I figured this out, I finally got past the first screen of the game. And the game froze. She is Looks Alex like, oh, Summer, the Never mind. leader of the New York Crime Syndicate. She was only 13 when she was trafficked into this country. It, it cuts to a few FBI guys sitting around a table. Apparently you're playing a shadow, a combination assassin and head of some crime syndicate. She pulled her organization out of human trafficking, and now a trafficker working for the syndicate is sending goons to kill her, so she's killing the other members of the syndicate, I think. I had to watch this scene several times to get that much out of the story. All the evidence pointed to a girl. No one couldn't figure out who she was or how she looked, because each time she used a different disguise to reach to her target and finish them off. For this reason, she is also known as Shadow. 
You'd think we'd get some exposition from the main character herself, but a group of largely motionless dipshits sitting at a table is probably easier to animate. Alright, next level. You are under attack while accompanied by two of your body gourds. This is the same opening crawl as level one! What? This is just level one again! I can't believe- they- did they seriously just recycle an entire level? Well, I beat it. It was easy now that I know how the shooting works. It She's Alex And Summer this is the Defective. same damn cutscene! That's not possible! That's not freaking- the entire game is one screen! You shoot five guys, get a shitty cutscene, and it just loops over and over again. Two dollars for one screen! That's incredible. If not for the bad controls, you'd beat the entire game in two minutes. Maybe this is a psychological horror game, you just get shot in the middle of a street for all of eternity! According to the story page, Shadow is an episodic game, I guess releasing the game one screen at a time. The second episode has been released as free DLC, and you're gonna love this. The developer is such an incompetent dingbat that you can't install the second level. No link on the game store page actually installs episode 2, because the dev couldn't configure the game right. It's not even officially listed as available DLC. I had to ask Mello online, head of the Watchdog Group Sentinels of the Store, and he directed me to try downloading the DLC through SteamDB. I had no idea that it worked because nothing visibly happened when I clicked the download link, and even when you trick it into installing, you still can't access the second level in-game. The first stage just repeats infinitely. I had already recorded this entire script when I found out on accident that you launch episode 2 by double-clicking the game in your Steam library, and nothing else works. Anyway, level 2, you're in a warehouse killing the trafficker guy. Now the enemies just vanish when killed, you can't aim upwards despite the enemies being on floors above you, and you hold W to walk, but you don't walk forward, you walk kind of 15 degrees to the right, because having things travel straight forward is hard. I'm stumbling around like I'm drunk, just trying to walk in one direction. You kill six or seven guys and get a cutscene where Shadow finds out someone is involving the FBI, and, well, that's it. How did you get caught? What? First attack, and now James making a deal with the feds. Shadow's voice actress sounds like she's recording her lines through a soup can on a string. So to recap, Shadow, Treachery Cannot Be Tolerated, Didn't Work at Launch, consists of one level that consists of nothing but a single screen of copied and pasted pre-made enemies, it takes two minutes to complete, has DLC that doesn't work, abysmal sound design, the controls are hot garbage, and I defy you to find a single fundamental gameplay mechanic that works correctly. And about 50 games like it are released a day, drowning out actual games to where legitimate developers are finding it impossible to find any success among the sea of garbage, because Valve doesn't give one infinitesimally small portion of a shit about what gets onto the store. At least in the days of Greenlight, the games were a funny kind of bad. It was a higher class of crap compared to this. You know, last week Valve tried to kick all visual novels off Steam because some Bible thumpers thought the best way to keep little Timmy from buying cartoon softcore porn was to ban all of it from the internet. Valve was only dissuaded from this decision by mass protests from players and the suddenly quite screwed over developers who hadn't broken any rules. So Valve will ban an entire genre of legitimate games overnight to shut up pearl-clutching self-appointed moral guardian fox sticks, but despite sustained deafening cries from their user base and business associates, won't lift a solitary finger to stop users from selling games that don't work, or from drowning the store in raw sewage to where customers and legitimate developers are abandoning Steam in droves. Well, as the ship goes down, at least Valve has its priorities.